Did lower oxygen levels cause the extinction of giant insects? Yes and no. It is true that having a higher oxygen concentration in the atmosphere allowed for larger insects to exist. There is something called a griffin fly, basically a dragonfly, but with wingspans that are up to like 30 inches. Here's a fossil of one of their wings. They were big. And this was around 300 million years ago, and we see in the fossil record insects get smaller as oxygen dropped for about 150 million years. But there is another evolutionary force that acted on these insects. The evolution of predatory birds. This was about when we start seeing predatory bird fossils, and they started hunting these insects. The bigger insects were easier to hunt, while the smaller insects managed to survive. In addition, it took a lot more energy for bigger insects to reproduce. Large species tend to have fewer babies. But smaller insects could lay thousands of eggs. So even if predatory animals did get to them, there is a bigger chance for them to survive. So while decreasing oxygen levels started the kill-off of giant insects, it was birds that finished the job.